What is up guys? So we're out here at the airport. I uh, just got the pre-flight done. Uh, rocking my Predator Paramotor shirt, supporting my buddy. I got into a little paramotor mishap recently. So Chris, if you watch this, hope you're feeling better. Get better soon, get back up in the air, man. Sorry to hear about that. Kind of a bummer day here as well. So I'm here at the airport that I've had my airplane for a while. I flew my paramotor out of here for probably four years, five years. Um, and a lot of stuff is changing here. Um, they're they're I think actively trying to push out general aviation out of this airport, make it a jet port. It's unfortunate the airport, I like the airport, it's convenient for me. My mechanic here, Eddie's on the field, I really like him. Um, but they're trying real hard to push us out and the stuff that they're doing, I don't know even know if it's legal. It seems, um, it seems like it shouldn't be legal and it, it, if it's not illegal, it's absolutely unethical what they're doing. So um, I'm gonna get this plane fired up, warmed up, get in the air. We're gonna take this plane over to my new airport um, get some fuel and then fly around after that, but uh, I'll take you guys over there show you around and uh, on the way there I'll tell you guys what's going on at this airport. Uh, that's bumming me out so much. So let's get started and get in the air 2000. Temperature 8 Celsius dew point 8 Celsius altimeter 3 0 1 5 inches of mercury All right, I think we're ready to go nice TVM right there, man. That thing's cool. I don't know what that is 850 It is an 850. No I can't tell. EPM though, it's nice. Somerville traffic, Cessna 17048 on the ramp, taxi out to runway 24. Somerville traffic. Somerville traffic, 522 Sierra Kilo is turning final for runway 24, Somerville. Okay, free taxi checklist. Wing flaps are at zero. Car feed is cold. Throttle is good. <sighs> Mixture is full rich. Good to go. And so we're build traffic Cessna 1704, taking off runway 24, we'll be departing off the downwind to the northeast. So we're build traffic. Final is clear. Engine instrument turn the green, RPM looks good. There's 60. Up the brakes. Somerville traffic, Diamond 352, Delta Charlie, downwind, Somerville. And Somerville traffic, Cessna 04 is turning left crosswind for 24, Somerville. And Somerville traffic, Cessna 04 is departing, downwind for 24. Uh, headed out to the northeast to be last call, Somerville traffic. Alright guys, well we're in our cruise climb here for 2,500 feet probably. Might go to 3,000, I don't know. It's not a really far flight. Um, over to Berkeley County Airport, which is where I'll be keeping my plane from now on. So yeah, that was my last time uh, as a resident of that airport, Somerville. So, um, if you guys are have, have been watching my channel for a while. It's come up a few times, but that airport uh, and I have kind of a sordid past. I like the airport a lot, but the airport manager there is not not really a, a friendly dude. Maybe he is to some people, and uh, we've always been cordial. I've always been cordial, but he's always been kind of rude to me. Um, but I always take the approach with people that, you know, if they're rude to me, I, I just kill them with kindness, kind of. just try to be nice most of the time. I, uh, you know, I sometimes lose it, but... Uh, this guy's yelled in my face before about breaking the law and that, that I didn't do and I made a video about that and Anyway It's it's been it's been that kind of relationship where I've just been nice to him But I can tell very clearly that he is not a fan of me um, I used to fly paramotors out of that airport um, Still kind of do but he really does not like that um, He's told me several times that you can't can't fly your paramotor out of this airport and I have tried to talk with him and come up with an agreement, okay, well, we're a lot legally allowed to fly out of there, but is there anything I can do? Can I be the ambassador for the airport to, you know, tell people the rules? You know, obviously we don't want to fly there if there's jet traffic flying around either, but 
On nights when it's calm night and not much going on, uh, that's a great option for us to fly out of and I still want to be able to use the airport. Anyway, he, he's uninterested in, in any of that. It's his way or no way. He will not pick up the phone, will not answer the phone, will not return phone calls. I've called him numerous times for numerous different things and he's never once returned a phone call to me. Um, no, he's, I, he's, I've called his, he gave me his personal card, I've called his card, his cell phone, doesn't answer it. I've called the, the phone number on the government website, the uh, Dorchester County uh, website, because this is a, a county airport, or a regional airport, and um, he just doesn't return phone calls. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if he's screening them, or w what his deal is, but, um, right, just straight up will not return my phone calls. So, he's unreachable. Unless you bump into him at the airport, and then he's, he's pretty short with you, and just not not a friendly dude. So anyway, that's been going on. Then, um, I don't know, a few months ago, we'll call it four, four or five months ago, we started hearing rumors about the rent going up at that airport. So to tie my airplane down on the ramp, tie it down outside, it was 50 bucks a month, which kind of expensive for tie down, but around here, that's actually pretty reasonable. So, and there's a mechanic on the field, like I said, so I like it there. 50 bucks a month to tie down. We started hearing rumors of them raising the rent to $100, which is a 100% increase, doubling the rent. Of course, these are rumors, and I'm thinking there's no way they could just double the rent. And and that seems wrong, right? It seems they, they should not be able to do that. Um, so I think, but if they are going to double the rent, they're surely going to give me some type of notification. Don will either approach me and tell me, they'll send an email. There'll be some kind of notification that, hey, we are doubling your rent. It's going up 100%. So if you want to get your airplane out of here, you better do it now. Um, or you're going to have to pay double the rent. Anyway, uh, that did not happen. And they you, they you pay in arrears. So all through January, I haven't heard anything. And then I get a bill. And my bill is for $100 for rent. And plus all the other stuff I bought, fuel and all that other crap. Take a ride with anyway, so... January rolls around and I get a bill for a hundred dollars in rent. Obviously, I, it kind of shocks me, and I'm thinking that's 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 wrong. Like I don't understand. How could they just do that uh, without without telling you? And it, and it's been kind of a just like I don't know an unfriendly environment over there. Aside from that, like for example, today I had planned to fly this morning. It's Saturday morning here, in South Carolina, and I had planned to fly this morning. Well, my the mechanic on the field, Eddie calls me on the phone and tells me, hey, um, are you planning to fly in the morning or, or when do you get your plane out of here? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to come get it tomorrow and I'm probably going to take it over to Berkeley County. And he's like, well, you, uh, what? you got to be here really early because like, they're going to start construction on the ramp. You're not going to get out of here. And I'm like, okay, um, well, I, I, you know, what do I do? And he, I'm like, I can't get there before like 8.30. i got to get my kids ready in the morning. And... Um, He's like, well, I can move your plane for you to a spot where you can get it out, but you just, we just can't tie it down. I was like, okay, yeah, please do that. And I said, and thank you so much for this phone call. I was like, thank you for calling me because I would have showed up in the morning and my plane would have been blocked in. Which, I mean, how much bullshit? I, I can't think of a more bullshit thing to do. There's no notum for this, by the way, that they're closing down the whole ramp. There's a notum for it's close to transient traffic, and which is fine. But, yeah, there's no notum saying, oh, we're closing down the ramp. It's just... There's a lot of bullshit going on that I don't think they should be doing to people. Um, and I decided that I'm not paying that $100 in rent. I'm giving them 50 bucks in rent and the prorated amount for the, this month of February, and I'm done. I, that's, that's to me, unethical. I have, I have no qualms about not paying for that rent. Because, um, like I said, all I have heard was rumors. All I had heard was, um, you know, that them floating rumors around. I No communication whatsoever from anybody. Uh, the mechanic, Eddie, was the only one that I'd heard this from, and I didn't even know that it was going up on January 1st. It's as, as, as somebody completely taking advantage of somebody, um, and I, I just think it's wrong. So I haven't had that conversation with them yet, but if they want to come after me for that, I'm, I'll, I'll gladly uh, argue with them. But that just seemed like like just complete bullshit to me. Um, so anyway, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to a new airport. I've talked to this airport manager. She's very nice. And I've, I've flown in and out of here a bunch of times with the airplane and with my uh, paramotor. So it's not that much further of a drive. It's probably another five or ten minutes from my house, so not a huge deal. Nice airport, lit runway, FBO. I think there's going to be a mechanic on the field. And I'm just going to tie it down out there. It's only 35 bucks a month to tie down at this airport. So I'm, I'm happy to do it. Um, I'm excited to be moving. 
like I said, I like that airport, but I half of of flying is being around people that like flying and cool people and talking about flying. And you just get a weird feeling at that airport anymore. There are cool people there, don't get me wrong, but um, I just, yeah, I don't know. I don't like having to go to the airport and um, worry about you know, the, the airport manager giving me looks or not, not wanting me there. The whole feeling of not being wanted somewhere is, is a bad feeling. I, you know, it's, it's a public airport, but if I'm not wanted there, I, truly I don't want to be there. So he really is getting what he wants. Uh, he's pushing out the, the GA guys. A bunch of people have left. So I'm leaving, he don't like me, so he's happy. But you know what, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fight the guy. I'm happy to leave, uh, be somewhere where I'm more welcome. So uh, I got close enough to the airport, I gotta start making calls and descending here. So get our landing light on, bring our power back and start descending. And helicopter transition in Berkeley County. Can you give me a tell number one more time, please? Uh, Berkeley County Airport, uh, Cessna 048, about uh, four miles north of the field, uh, descending to 2,500, uh, request airport advisory, Berkeley County. Berkeley County, Windsor, Calm, altimeter is 3016, uh, we have a helicopter transitioning the area this time. Roger that, thank you. Uh, is, what's the active runway right now? Currently, Windsor, Calm, uh, everybody's been using 23 this morning. Roger uh, that, appreciate it, thank you. All right, Berkeley County traffic, Cessna 048, two miles to the north, gonna overfly midfield 2,000 feet and uh, enter left downwind for 23, Berkeley County. So yeah guys, this is a pretty cool airport. There's one kind of crazy story um, about this airport though that you hear about when you fly around this area and um, everyone, you know, everyone tells you about it. Even the airport manager here told me about it one time. So there's like a run here, I don't know, some military run that they do I know my buddy used to do it in a C-17, but they do it in all kinds of stuff, F-16s, jet, uh, F-18s, things like that. Got a lot of F-35s out here. I don't know who does it, but I see them low over here all the time. Um, and they run down this river here. Um, but I don't know how many years ago now, maybe it's 15, 10 years ago, I don't know. Um, but recently enough that people remember it vividly, uh, an F-16 ran into a Cessna 150 which is the same plane I fly. Um, they ran into him, and um, it killed a father and his son who were flying the 150. The guy in the F-16 lived. Um, but super sad story, super scary uh, that that could even happen. But I looked it up and on, on the news and everything and what I could find of it, and they were blaming ATC for vectoring them into each other, um, which I guess is possible, but... Berkeley County traffic, Cessna 04, it's uh, I'm a 45 to enter left down, one for 23 Berkeley. That just, is, it was a sad, sad story, and um, like I said, freaking scary that that can, that can happen. So, but it can. You got definitely have to have your eyes outside the window if you're flying VFR. And Berkeley County traffic, Cessna 04, it's entering left down, one for 23 B, full stop, Berkeley County. Okay, gas is on. Undercarriage is always welcome. Mixture is full, rich, prop set, switches are set, seatbelt is on. 04, it's Berkeley County. You're going to be stopping for fuel. Oh, All right. Uh, flaps are coming down. There's 10 degrees. Yes, undercarriage mixture. Prop switches. Seatbelt set. Man, we're good. And Berkeley County traffic. Cessna zero point three left base. Two, three. Full stop, Berkeley. We got to watch your airspeed out here. Got to watch your airspeed everywhere, but a lot of houses on base here. Base to finals where people get hurt, guys. Planes, planes slow, dirty. Uh, stay coordinated and keep that nose down. You hear about that a lot with the Cirruses for whatever reason. They overshoot final or overshoot their, their base to final turn and then bank it hard to get it back into that final uh, and then spin stall. Not a good move. Just finish your turn and correct it later after your wings are level. You check your speed. I like to make my final early, if anything. That's better. Try to do it perfect, but early is better than late. And Berkeley County traffic, Cessna 04. It's turning final, runway 23, full stop, Berkeley County. Okay, we're a little high. Bring our power out just a teensy weensy bit. I definitely turned early there as I was talking about it, but like I said, early's better than late. Bumpy down here, what the hell? What, a slam hell? I guess it makes sense, right? It's windy up top and they say calm on the ground, so. Gotta be some layer. Not my best landing, but that's what I'm doing the rest of the day, by the way. I'm probably not going to film it for YouTube, but I'm going up and just practicing my landings. Uh, I've been doing a lot of, like, point A to point B flights lately, and that's fun and all, but 
Doesn't really, doesn't really build your skills. Oh man, I really, really like flying, you guys. If you haven't noticed. At Berkeley County traffic system zero four, it's clear runway two three, taxiing back to fuel, Berkeley County. <sighs> so yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Um, this is this is just something that goes on um, in general aviation. I feel like I see it a lot in the paramotor community because um, I don't know why. Uh, but a lot of airports, well, not a lot. I, I'll say I, I've seen it. I've seen it a bunch of times. I don't know if it's the majority or not, but you do see um, paramotors, uh, paramotor pilots not being welcomed into certain airports. Now there are awesome airports um, that do allow you um, to fly, but um, especially around here, man, it's it's hard. We have one airport left, pretty much, where we're welcome to fly there, um, and. There's not really any other places to fly around here, paramotor-wise, um, unless you're flying in an airport, which is unfortunate. Um, but this kind of thing, I guess, goes on in general aviation, too. I mean, it is a business. It's unfortunate. I think it's not right um, that what they're doing over at, at Somerville. I understand that they're going to make more money with jets and things like that. The guy wants it to be a Class Delta air-powered airport, but, uh, you know, they accept federal funding, tax money to fund that airport. And if they're going to do that, I think they should be more accommodating to people of all, I don't know, facets of general aviation, not just the ones that can afford it. It's expensive no matter what you freaking do. So, um, you know, I mean, this is the, about the cheapest plane you can buy and operate, and it's still, it, it, it's freaking expensive. It's pretty much all I can afford to do. So, um, but with people like that guy over there raising prices by 100%, all that bullshit, um, it's only gonna get harder, so it's a bummer. All right, let's pay attention here. Get over to the fuel. This is my new airport, guys. I don't know where they're gonna tie me down, but I'm gonna get fuel and then uh, ask them where they want me, and I'm gonna go fly again. But um, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all that jazz, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.